Hi, welcome to the Fresh Wait, 20... Sorry, I was making a monkey face. <laughs> what does a monkey face look like? <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Fresh 20 TV. I'm Melissa Lands, author of the Fresh 20 cookbook, and I'm here today with Gabby Dalkin of Absolutely Avocados. We are going to make a couple of recipes from each cookbook. Gabby is going to walk us through her amazing guacamole with goat cheese, and then we're gonna mix that up with some guacamole tostadas from my cookbook. I wanna know the best way to do this. Okay. So everyone has the pit at home. I would go boom and take right. it out. Okay, so there's <laughs> two ways. I'll show you both ways. One is you just take it out like that. If you're not comfortable with a knife, here's what you can do. You cut it in half, and then when you twist it apart, you cut this in half again, like this. And then it peels back. That and makes then, so much sense. Yes, then you twist it off and then you can just kind of take the pit out from here and you don't have to like worry about whacking it or anything like that. So the nice thing about that is that you could have your kids help you in the kitchen. If they had a little bit more of a dull knife, they could cut it into those quarters like that and take the pit out themselves. Totally. And then you can just use a spoon, scoop out the inside, and there you go. I actually don't even remember how I came up with this recipe other than the fact that I'm obsessed with goat cheese. <laughs> One day I just wanted something a little bit tangy and so I added goat cheese and we're going to add some chives. Do you want to throw the goat cheese in? So we're putting avocado, chives, we're adding goat cheese yep. to it. And then so you have two avocados. How much goat cheese do you think? Um, about a fourth a cup. Fourth a cup. And then I just put in some sun-dried tomatoes. Perfect. And then to this we're just going to add a little bit of lemon juice and then you want to Crack some pepper in there. I do. Now, freshly cracked pepper is so important. Don't use pepper that's already been ground. Grind it fresh yourself. It really it makes a huge, difference. huge difference in all of your spices. So then we're just going to use a fork and just mash everything together. So oh. it's half smooth, half chunky. Then we'll Amazing. season it with more salt and pepper if we need to. And we can put it on top of your guacamole tostada. And now we're going to make the fresh 20 guacamole tostadas. So a couple of things that we do for the tostadas that are kind of the base for me and my family for tostadas are corn tortillas and beans. Now in the cookbook, the recipe calls for kidney beans, but there's so much flexibility that we have black beans today and we have pinto beans and we're gonna make it two ways. We're gonna use just the regular black beans and then we're gonna grind them up and make them refried style. One of the core basics of a tostada is the actual tostada and I love using corn tortillas. So we've done two different ways today. These are fried a little bit in oil and these were baked. So you can see the color difference when you add in a little oil. But and they're both pretty crispy, right? They're both crispy. This one, the one in oil is gonna get a little crispier. Right. So let's do the beans. We've got our KitchenAid Emergent Blender here and we're just gonna grind up the beans. I'm gonna layer my beans. I like to put the parsley on my beans before and I like to do, hit it with a little bit of lime at the bottom. You can use any type of lettuce that you want. I have a bib lettuce, it's delicious. And then we're gonna do a layer of Gobby's guacamole. I want a lot on mine. Goat cheese guac. Here, I'll, Goat let, cheese guac. I'll let you do yours. The, ni <laughs> the nicest thing about this meal is that, you know, yeah. you have everything that you need. You have the beans, you have the guacamole, and we're gonna top it with a fried egg. There's protein everywhere. Protein everywhere. And deliciousness <laughs> and the magic of the kitchen. We, we both We're have our fried egg. Now fried hers eggs. is gonna come out so easy. Ah. I'm gonna use a little, oh. That's perfect, what are you talking about? That is, That's gorgeous. now that is a great dinner, lunch, breakfast. I'm gonna hit it up with a little bit more parsley on the Mine top. Too, please. Absolutely. So these are our finished product. And what are we gonna call this? I think it should be the Fresh 20 Absolutely Avocado Guacamole Mashup. Tostada. Mashup. Mashup. Yes. That's exactly what it is. That's quite the mouthful. It is. The, we're good at that. The, yes. <laughs> I don't even know how we're gonna try these. We should get a fork and knives out, mm. huh? No? No, not so much. We're just gonna eat it like that? I am. Okay, <laughs> let's go for you it. You ready? Okay, go. Mm. So oh my good. God, it's so delicious. It's really wonderful. All right, so enjoy, and thanks again. This is the Fresh 20 TV, and I'm Melissa Lands of the Fresh 20 Cookbook, along with... Gabby Dalkin from What's <laughs> Gabby Cooking and Absolutely Avocados.